Trinidad and Tobago is a dual island nation in the Caribbean, and it is one of the most popular countries there. Between the white sand beaches and lush rainforests, there's no doubt that this country is worth visiting. Here are the top things to do in Trinidad and Tobago. Number 11. Spend a few days at Port of Spain. The first place to explore once you get to Trinidad and Tobago is Port of Spain, which is the capital city. Here you will find several attractions like the famous Queen's Park Savannah. It is also home to the Royal Botanic Gardens, which displays assorted plant species and contains the Emperor Valley Zoo. You will also be dumbfounded at the site of the Magnificent Seven, which is a row of grand mansions near Queen's Park built in the early 1900s. That's not all. You will also find the people here to be both exciting and welcoming. Although mainly occupied by locals, the capital city consists of a fantastic blend of international settlers from all continents. Plus, do not hesitate to try out the delicious cuisines at local restaurants, and you'll also enjoy the electric nightlife in this part. However, you may want to practice caution as petty crimes still constitute a major problem here. But in all, you will find this capital city to be more than enjoyable. Number 10. Check out the impressive Argyle Waterfall. Talk about exciting attractions to visit here in Trinidad and Tobago, and the Argyle Waterfall will certainly come to mind. This waterfall is famous around the country and beyond for its unique scenery that consists of a series of pools surrounded by a thick jungle. However, the main attraction here is the 177 feet high waterfall that falls from three levels into the pools. This waterfall is also the highest in the country and one of the most popular in the Caribbean. It goes without saying that this waterfall should be on your bucket list of places to visit in this island country. After all, it has always attracted locals for obvious reasons, and it remains a top destination for tourists from far and wide. Number 9. Visit the National Museum and Art Gallery Another must-visit tourist destination in Trinidad and Tobago is the National Museum and Art Gallery. Located in the capital city, this museum had existed since 1892, when it was established as the Royal Victoria Institute. Of course, the Victorian-era colonial-style building is a beauty to behold, but the real treat is not until you enter the museum. Here, you'll find a surplus of relics to explore, reaching about 10,000 items in total. The facilities include an audio-visual room for educational programs, among others. A walk around the museum will reveal a collection of paintings by the famous Michel Jean Casabon, petroleum and geological exhibits, and a gallery that displays Trinidad's carnival art and history. Number 8. Picnic on the country's most beautiful beach like many other Caribbean countries, Trinidad boasts several incredible beaches and sea coasts. But then, not many can compare to the aesthetically pleasing Englishman Bay on the leeward coast of Tobago. This is not a very popular tourist destination compared to other centrally located beaches, but it is often ranked as the most beautiful beach in the country. Indeed, you want to take a trip to these parts and explore the awe-inspiring crescent-shaped paradise. Of course, it is also less developed due to its position, and it has only a few lifeguards and amenities. But this certainly takes nothing away from the exciting experience waiting for you here. You can engage in several water activities like swimming and snorkeling, or you can relax on the beach and enjoy the excellent view in front of you. Number 7. Bird Watching at Asa Wright Nature Center it is almost impossible to talk about Trinidad and Tobago without making mention of its amazingly diverse avian species. This feature is most notable at Asa Wright Nature Center and Lodge, which is a nature resort and scientific research station in the north range of the country. Well, if you are a birder, you certainly do not need a second invitation to come to explore this little bird paradise. Formerly a coffee and citrus plantation, this resort has since become a fully developed bird-watching destination and one of the best in the Caribbean. It is also one of the few places in the world where you can find rare bird species like hummingbirds, pygmy owls, woodpeckers, and trogones, among others. Just remember to come along with your binoculars, and you are in for a world of excitement watching nature's finest birds. Number 6. Explore Mount St. Benedict Monastery whether you are religious or not, the Mount St. Benedict Monastery, which is just east of the Port of Spain, is a must-visit destination. The red roof buildings are in the Abbey Tower above the Northern Range Hills and can be seen from miles away, making it one of the most obvious and significant landmarks in the area. Established in 1912, the monastery is the largest and oldest of its kind in the entire Caribbean and remains functional to date. 
Today, the Abbey consists of several establishments, including a monastery, a church, a yogurt factory, a rehabilitation facility, and a guest house. It records thousands of visitors annually, and you should also check it out. By the way, if you want to learn how to save money on airfares, then click the link in the description below. This guide teaches you how to always get the cheapest flights. Number 5. Immerse yourself in the healing waters of the nylon pool. Legend has it that there's a pool in Tobago with mysterious aphrodisiac powers that can also make women 10 years younger. Well, while these powers are possibly just a myth, the pool is real and makes the list of places you should visit in Trinidad and Tobago. Located off Pigeon Point in Tobago, this in-sea shallow white ground coral pool is one of the most visited attractions in the country. The turquoise water feels just right for swimming, and the surrounding landscape is picturesque and ready for your exploration. You also don't want to miss a chance to immerse yourself in the water and, perhaps, feel the supposed healing power of the pool. Number 4. Hike Around the Main Ridge Forest Reserve Of course, one of the activities to enjoy while in the Caribbean region is hiking, and the Main Ridge Forest Reserve in Tobago arguably offers the best hiking platforms. This forest is widely known as the oldest legally protected area in the Western Hemisphere, and this is due to the incredible biodiversity it possesses. The forest also boasts some incredible trails, and you may want to put on your boots and head here to explore these trails. The trek will reveal some flora and fauna in the incredibly populated forest, and while you're here, you'll also want to keep your eyes peeled for the eye spot gecko, an animal not found anywhere else in the world. Number 3. Check out the cannons at Fort King George King George Fort was one of the most impressive fortresses in the Caribbean, and it still houses some fantastic remains today. The fort was built in the mid-18th century to defend the island from French attack, and you can still find the remains of the heavy weaponry introduced to it. Among the remains in this mess are a few cannons, and you could head down here to check them out. Number 2. Spend a relaxing afternoon in Maracas Bay a trip to the beach is almost inevitable here in Trinidad and Tobago, and Maracas Bay is one of the most popular beaches around here. Unlike the previously mentioned Englishman Bay, this beach is more centrally located, so it is a lot more developed and attracts many more tourists. The Blue Bay is partly surrounded by golden sand, lush forests, and hillsides at the edges. Plus, it is an ideal location to cool off on a sunny afternoon, or relax and watch the waves of the water and the surrounding landscape. Number 1. Attend the Trinidad and Tobago Carnival The island of Trinidad and Tobago is known for many things, including its rich and colorful carnivals. Well, you should take advantage of your visit here to attend the Trinidad and Tobago Carnival, which is one of the most famous carnivals in the world. The annual two-day carnival is often held on Monday and Tuesday before Ash Wednesday and often features exuberant celebrations displaying colorful costumes. The street parades are also often well anticipated, and attending them can undoubtedly be the highlight of your trip to these parts. Click here for more places to visit in the Caribbean.